Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Stormworks, and it is dark and dreary out here because we have come back from last time working hard into the night to deliver our uh, abandoned or crashed helicopter pilots from the ocean to their safe zone. But we are going to go ahead and sleep, and we're going to find out what our next mission is going to be, and this time... We're going to build something new, because we've been using the stock boat for these missions, and of course it's probably not the best thing, so we're going to figure out what is our next mission going to be. And even if it's the simplest mission ever that the stock boat can clearly do, I'm still going to build something new. I have a design in my head that I think could be cool. Whether or not we have to do anything else to it to accommodate other mission objectives, I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's something a new type of mission objective that we haven't encountered yet, but let's go ahead and... Uh, Fast forward time here. We're going to sleep. Hopefully we get a new, uh, uh, what do you call it? Quest or mission in the daytime. Oh, nice. Daytime. Recover five crates jettisoned by drug smugglers. Okay. This is a mission we haven't gotten yet. We have to retrieve crates, which means that I'm going to have to build something that can carry crates. I do not think that our, uh, wait, why can't I see my mouse? I can't see my mouse. I don't know what happened. I have no cursor. How am I supposed to click the wake button? Is there a way to wake up using a keyboard shortcut? Oh, here's my mouse. I, why is it dis- No, don't- Okay, alright. If I put my mouse over the wake button... There we go. I hacked it. Alright. <laughs> that was a strange bug. Remember, this is still an alpha version game. So, uh, the goal here is to build something that can carry five crates, a boat-like vehicle, I assume. Let's see what we have. And I think I made a mistake on my last episode. I think I said that we only had um, two passenger seats in stock, which is true. We have two in stock, but I think what we can do is actually just buy more. If we need more, we have money, and that money can be used to buy more if we run out of stock. And I think that applies to everything, because if you look here, we also have blocks. We only have 2,000 blocks in stock, so we might have to build some stuff to, uh, get those blocks. Uh, but let's see, uh, our weather seems okay. Here, let's, how do I get out of the garage? How do I, right, here we go. Let's take a look at the weather. It seems like it's a little bit windy, so, um, oh, actually, now that I think about it, let's see. All right, so we have an hour and eight minutes. Let's make this an active quest to see where exactly it is, and it is pretty far away. We gotta go all the way back down through this island. It looks like we can buy some more islands, too. Only 10,000. We can afford that right now. But, um, I'm noticing that, so I've fast traveled back here, and my vehicles just seem to stay where I leave them when I fast travel. I don't know how to get rid of those, or even if we should. Or I don't know if that gets gonna cost me money, like, leaving my vehicles out there, but we shouldn't waste time, because we have an hour, and I take kind of a long time to build, especially since I've actually never really built much in this game yet. All I did was slightly modify the boat and build a very poor helicopter in my first episode. So, uh, I'm gonna time-lapse this. It's probably going to have a lot of mistakes and a lot of, like, backtracking and deleting of parts as I try to figure out what exactly I'm doing. Wait, what are the differences between the an inverse pyramid and a wedge? Alright, well, let's let's get to it. Let's just go ahead and build the boat. I hope I know how to build the boat. I've heard that you have to um, have air pockets in your boat for it to float. It just can't be a solid object. So let's see what exactly we can come up with. And also, I have to make sure that it can carry five boxes. Alright, let's get to it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm ready to try this thing out. One thing I'm concerned about is I thought I'd maybe try to put some front rudders and rear rudders, but it doesn't let me reverse the direction of the rudder control, so I think they might not work together. So I don't know. Worst case scenario, we just delete the front rudders, but here is what my plan kind of is. I have, this is an entire hollow body thing. It is completely hollow in here, so I'm hoping it's going to be able to hold itself up. We got four propellers in the back, and what I realized is that the engines, the power is split between the outputs, so in order to actually have more power, you need more engines, not just more propellers. So I have one engine per propeller. I don't know if these engines are going to be cool here or not, or if I'm going to have to enclose them to prevent them from getting water. I don't know if the engines are affected by uh, water. And honestly, I have no idea how low this thing is going to sit in the water or how high it's going to sit. Uh, we got some lights up in the front here. The windshields are very difficult to deal with with the rotation right now. Um, I wanted to expand this a little bit more, but I had a lot of trouble doing so. And I figured I'd make just a nice area for us to um, carry passengers and boxes. So it's really like an all-purpose vehicle right now. And anything else? We got some two rudders in the back as well. Uh, I think we're pretty much good to go. I'm going to save this as Scrap Boat Rescue because this thing is made to be a rescue boat. And let's go ahead and spawn. Whoop, whoop, where, where am I? Here I am. All right, oh wow. This thing is very floaty. It's like, this is exactly what I wanted. The only thing, uh oh, the engines are underwater though. I don't know how that's going to affect things. We might have to put the engines somewhere else. I don't know, let's see what happens. Let's get in the seat. So the way I had it uh, designed is number one, starts off, the first set of engines. Number two starts up the second set of engines. Oh, I can see the repellers going. Let's go forward. All right, now, oh, that's not, this is actually really big now that I think about it. And I think our rudders are definitely interfering. Oh, uh, yep. The front rudders do not work for our purposes. So let's just go with the back rudders then. Return to workbench. We can delete the front rudders. Actually, I wonder what happens if I turn the front rudders around. Will that... You think that works? Here, let's delete those. And now let's put them back and turn them around. Alright, so now they are facing the opposite direction. Now I just gotta hook them up to our steering. A and D. And now let's see if that makes it work better. Then it, This is essentially like the four-wheel steering of boats if this works. Alright, spawn it in. Hop on in here. Man, this thing is floaty. All right, now let's see. If I turn left... Oh, I gotta turn my engines on. All right, now turn left. Oh, wait, nope. That is not working. Did it not get reversed? That should work. Shouldn't it? You see the way that's work? This is weird. All right, turn right. All right, this... All right, the front rudders are just... They just do not work the way I expected them to work, so let's just get rid of them. Oh, well. Actually, I realized I completely forgot something, and that would be a ladder. Can I fit a ladder right here? I do not know. Let's find out. What is... Do we have ladders? I hope we have a ladder. We don't have a ladder, do we? What are we supposed to do? Oh, wait. Is this a ladder? Small ladder. Here we go. All right. We can totally use the small ladder right there. And I'm also going to put a small ladder next to our driver's seat, just like that. That'll make things a little bit quicker if we need to get up here and access the driver's seat. All right, I think we're set. I'm going to resave this as the scrap boat rescue, and we're going to spawn this in. So now we got some le- What happened to my ladder? What happened to everything I just did? Oh, no. I didn't resave it. I loaded the previous version without all those changes. I am stupid, but I think- there might be an auto save. Load. Auto. Nope. Nope. I gotta do all this stuff again. I am a dumb dumb. I hit load instead of save. Uh. Alright, now I have saved it. And it should yeah, there we go. There's the ladders. Oh, this thing is gonna be able to carry five boxes. No problem. Now let's make sure everything is hooked up and works. We got let's check our lights actually. There goes our lights. It's a good thing at least two of them are above water, kinda. Um, turn on engine one, turn on engine two. All right, let's check our mission report. We have an hour and five minutes. 
All right, uh, let's toggle it as active. Recover five crates jettisoned by the drug smugglers. Sounds like a, just a day on the job. All right, and off we go. Okay, that's not exactly the way. This boat is a little bit too big. There should not be a lip at the end of this garage. How annoying is that? Oh no. All right, turn, turn. Please don't catch. Oh, come on, get, get forward. There we go, and we are now off. And can we turn? We can turn. The turning isn't that great. I might want to add some more rudders and maybe even add some of those underneath rudders in the back here and probably paint this thing at some point. After this mission, we'll paint it. We'll do two missions this episode. We'll do whatever this mission is and then we'll do the next mission and we'll paint this thing um, something in between. I, don't, I haven't used the painting system yet. I have no idea how it's gonna be. But we have 1.6 kilometers to go. It looks like we have semi-large, whoa, that was weird. Looks like we have semi-large ocean swells, but nothing too horrible. And uh, I think uh, if, I, if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know, but we're just gonna head on there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut to it. All right, we are kind of approaching and I'm noting that the ocean is getting much, much more wavy, very similar to the waves in the last episode. However, it just looks a lot smoother. We're not seeing all that whitewash and uh, it's not really foggy or anything. But uh, the boat is holding up okay. It tends to, no when it nose dives, it, we just kill all momentum because I think our propellers lift out of the water. Let's zoom out here and get a look at what's happening. Uh, yeah, our propellers actually come out of the water relatively easily. I'm wondering if we should add, uh, I don't know if I want to put any more weight in the back because we might be more, oh, I just realized the bog, wait, whoa, 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 what's going on? Don't do that, don't do that. I just noticed the boxes are right here. We, I see four out of five of them right now. Let's see what we can do here. Um, fine tuning is very, very difficult on the water, especially with these waves. I'm wondering if I can carry these while I swim. Let's find out. Or am I going to have to pull up next to each one individually? Whoa, there goes that wave. All right, so if I'm in the water, I can pick it. Oh, I can carry it. Oh, this is excellent. There we go. That's close enough for now. We'll deal with that later. Now we gotta get this one. Come on, Emma, do I got it? Nope. All right, there we go. And in. Let's let's make that one. Oh, I pulled it out. Did not mean to pull it out. Whoa, are these waves getting bigger? I'm like jumping out of the water here. I just jumped over the boat with, with the crate. All right, come on, come back. Eh, eh. Uh, all right, there we go. Now we need to get some of the other crates. Let's go get this one over here. And I think there's one I don't see yet. I hope my boat is gonna be okay. Here, let's go into third person so we can see a little bit better about what's going on over here. It looks like my boat is holding up okay. I, oh, that was kind of close, but I, woo! Oh no, one of the crates fell out. Actually, we might not have enough room with all these seats here now that I'm looking at it. Um, that may have been a mistake to put all those seats there. I was hoping that the seats were actually going to act as like a buffer to hold the crates in rather than just having a having a completely open area. Come on, get in. All right, I think it's kind of in. I'm going to go go up and get it though really quick. Use the ladder. Use the ladder. Use the lat use why won't you use the ladder? There we go. And the crate fell in. Of course the crate fell in right when I get up there. Come on, get in there. Get up in there. Get up. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> these crates. Get in there. Oh, I think that worked. Did that work? That looks like it's kind of working. Here, let's uh, get up into our boat. We need to organize this a little bit better. I'm gonna move that right there. All right, now we have, oh man, it's gonna be really tough to carry these crates now that I'm looking at this. All right, I see, I see them both now. All right, let's go get this one. Actually, uh, let's bring our boat a little bit closer. That might be a good idea. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I have to not flip over. If these what Did that crate just really do that right now? That crate just really... Alright, this mission might be harder than I thought it would be. We might not have enough time for another mission, depending on how long this takes. But I'm gonna grab some more crates. You know what? Maybe if I approach my uh, boat from the back, this might be a little bit easier to just throw them in here. 
There we go. Oh, I just remembered I can actually throw. If I hold down the let go button, it uh, it charges up a throwing action. So that is useful to remember. All right, and there we go. Oh, nope, that one's not staying in there for sure. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh, yep, yep, yep. All right, just get the last one and then I can organize them. Just get the last one, then I'll worry about organize. Did I just go over the boat? I did just go over the boat. Come on, in. In, get, get in, get in. Yes, yes, it worked. Now just use the ladder, get up the ladder. Please use the ladder. Stop falling in the water. Use the ladder. There we go. Okay, is this good? I might, oh. All right, and then you go down right there. I think, I think we can do this. We just gotta not drop the crates. Just don't drop the crates. We got to bring them back over there. How far do we have to go? What? That is really far, people. That is really far. Do we have all our crates still? We still have all the crates. I, how long is... No. Why did that happen? It just rolled right out. That thing just rolled right out of here. Come on. Oh, why did I fall? I hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys are enjoying the frustration I have to deal with. To smuggle these drug crates, or retrieve these smuggled drug crates. All right, just stay there and don't move. All right, now can we go? Slowly, I think. Oh, going underwater does not feel, oh no, this is gonna be so tedious, people. These waves want to kick me up in the air. Look what happens to the crates when I go up in the air. I should have built bigger, bigger lips to hold these crates in. I don't know why I chose such a small little lip. Ugh. It kicks me off like every single time. I just want to grab a crate really quick. All right, there we go. All right, now the crate is in the seat. Hopefully the seat will keep it there. I wish there was a way I could strap them down. Is there a way I can strap these down? I don't know. All right, gentle, gentle, as gentle as you can go. Whoa, whoa, these waves are terrible. Oh my God, no. I hope it gets better. It got worse as I got to this location, so I'm hoping it's gonna get better as I get away from the location. Because otherwise this is going to be impossible. Oh, every single time I grab the crate, I just fall out right when I grab it. I really thought this was going to be an easy vehicle for this mission. I don't know why, but I really thought that I had it covered pretty well. I did not expect the wave physics to be, very, like, in the gravity to really affect them this much. But I guess this is realistic. No. No. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. All right, we're doing it. It's getting, I think the waves are getting, no, those are big waves. They might be getting a little bit calmer. Oh, come on, stay in the boat. Stay in the boat, stay in the boat, stay in the boat. Stay in the boat. Oh, oh that one's inching its way back there. That one in the back is like inching its way off. They're all inching their way back. I should have put a wall in the back. Now, this is, I'm learning from my mistakes. We know what kind of adjustments we need to make next. Come on. <gasps> that was a big drop. Oh man, this is so, I don't even see that. 3.7 kilometers. This is more than twice the distance it took us to get here. We have to go there, but it's calming down. It's getting dark, but it's calming down. I think we're getting better. We're getting, we can start going a little bit faster soon. The ocean is gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this together. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh. You know, I feel like this would be more entertaining if it were, if I sped it up slightly so my voice got all really high pitched and weird, and then all the motion got really really fast. So let's uh, let's give that a try. 
All right, just don't fall. They're getting close to the back there. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we're getting smoother. Okay, oh, that's a big wave. That's a big wave. That's a big wave. All right, there we go. Oh, whoa. whoa. All right, it's, it's flat. It's flat now. It's flat. We can go. <gasps> Don't fall. Don't fall, Kreitz. Do not fall. You come this way. You're gonna go right here. No, 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 not there. You're gonna go right here. And you are also gonna come up here. You're gonna go right there. Huh, okay, that was close. All right, let's continue. Ooh. That crate, that crate is not looking good back there, but it's getting flatter. I think we can do this. We're just gonna go a little bit faster. No! It's gonna go a little bit faster now. See, it's all about the acceleration. We can get, we can go up to a faster speed, but we just can't accelerate there really fast. We have to get this. I'm getting tired of the way you do things. Where did the rest of them go? Oh, they're all underneath the boat. Are you kidding me? It is gonna get so dark so quick now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 No! Oh, saved it. I think we've gone a kilometer, though. We're making progress. We've gone a kilometer. I am concentrating so hard on my speed control right now. You have no idea. Watching these crates, I... Oh, oh no. I was just about to say, I think they've settled into a nice, comfortable position, but that is apparently not the case. They almost fell out again. All right, we're still doing okay, though. We have the crates. We haven't lost them again. Oh, don't speak too soon. Don't jinx myself. Don't jinx myself. Don't jinx myself! Saved it. You see that save? That was epic. All right, come on. Oh, boy. So what I'm afraid of now is that the closer I get, the worse the waves are gonna get. Is this what it's like? Is this what it's like to be in the Coast Guard? Is, is, is anything like this, people? Are, do, do I have any, any subscribers in the Coast Guard? Any viewers in the Coast Guard? Is this what you gotta do? Is this what you gotta deal with? Runaway boxes? Oh, man. I'm like literally making like 10 feet of progress every single time I have to get out of the seat. Oh, it's flat again. Look how flat it is, people. We're picking up speed. I'm at full speed. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, full speed's a bad idea. Never mind. Oh, no, no. All right, I gotta get that box. It's like a treadmill like game here. I gotta take the box from the back, put it up in the front, and uh, wait until the next box goes out to the back there. A little bit faster now. We're at one kilometer, people. One kilometer. Ah, we can do this. I'm going faster. I'm taking some risks here. You hear those engines going? I'm at full speed. <gasps> that was close. That was close. That was very close. Pick this up, back at it again. 750. 700. 650. All right, we're doing good, it's so flat. I am so glad it got flatter instead of worse. Which I guess it makes sense, the closer you're gonna get to the uh, to the land, then I guess the water is gonna be kind of dispersed because of the land. I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just making stuff up now. All right, it is, it is golden now. We are golden, it is so flat. Now we just gotta pull in, and this is actually kind of the hard part, is doing this. Ah, ah, what are we doing? What are we doing? Stop that! That was bad. All right, I'll deal with that. All right, we're here. We're here. Now, where are we delivering these boxes? I'll get start with this one in the water here. We can just, we should be able to just, boop. Nailed it. Whoops. Take this one and just put it right, nope, put it right, boop. There. Take this one. And we can just, boop. Put it right there. Take this, oh, take this. Pick up, pick, pick it up. What is happening? They're coming together. They're stuck. Have they been jammed into each other? Oh, no. The boat did weird things. Okay, we got it, though. We got it. All right, and boop. Doing good, doing good. And this one. Boop. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, now can I get out of here? Ready, boop. No, all right, caught it. Caught it, we're good. All right, one box at a time, I think we gotta do. Let's go ahead and run up here. With my mind, psychic, telekinesis mind powers, like Professor X, I can pick up these boxes with my mind. Oh, and we can drop them off in the garage. So there's one. I, is that correct? Oh, wait. Do I drop it off behind, or? Oh, I guess it doesn't count until I get all of them here, huh? All right, here is two. Let's look at how we're we doing on time, by the way. 39 minutes. Not too bad. 39 minutes left. So with building something before even doing anything, we still ended up pretty good. All right, there's crate number three. There's crate number four. All right, and last but not least is of course crate number five. We have completed the mission. We've gotten two gyros. We've gotten a subtract blueprint and a thousand dollars. That was extremely difficult. Um, so I'm really, I don't really know how it works with um, uh, fast traveling. Cause when I, if I fast travel, back over here, then, um, I, I leave my vehicle over here, so I don't know if it costs me money to spawn my vehicles or not, but, uh, I guess let's just fast travel back. All right, we're back home, but see, now my, my other vehicle is over there, so I got these vehicles littered all about the map, so I'm not sure 
how fast traveling worked when it comes to leaving vehicles behind. So really quick, let me just add a little bit of paint to this design. We're gonna go ahead and load this up. So the painting is actually kind of cool. I literally just click, like I, I pick a color and then all I gotta do is click and drag wherever I really wanna paint. And whatever my cursor touches is what it paints. So that's actually a really cool system. I like it a lot. Very easy, and it's actually kind of quick. The only thing I wish I could do is like do like a control all and select everything and um, paint it all, which I don't know if that's possible. I might just be missing out on it, but I'm gonna paint the whole bottom of this thing black. Oh, one thing that's really cool is I just realized that you paint the surface, not the block. Cause see this wedge piece right here? I only selected this side of the wedge piece and the top of it I can paint separately. So that is actually something really cool that I haven't seen in the other games that have painting that I play. Um, although it makes it a little bit more tedious when you have to make sure you don't miss any of those parts or anything like that. But uh, here, let's finish painting this. All right, the scrap boat is now painted and this is what it looks like. So um, I'm gonna hold off on making any adjustments to the box carrying capabilities and things like that until we get another one of those missions. We're gonna see what other missions we get in future episodes. But uh, I think this actually went better than expected. The boat worked first try. Like I didn't have to make any adjustments to like weight or uh, its buoyancy or anything like that. So that was really nice. Let me know what you thought about it and uh, let me know what you hope to see in future episodes. I'm actually surprised that the engines worked and everything even though they were being submerged underwater. They don't look that great there. Maybe I'll make like a compartment for them, but um, we'll see how it goes. And we'll see if we build, what else we build in future episodes. But if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. This has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>